We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Today, we're going to be speaking about gesture and drawing. So, just recently, like a few weeks ago, I started to get back into, you know, revisiting how to do gesture drawings because I didn't believe I properly knew how to do gesture drawings and I felt that uh, understanding what they actually meant by, you know, drawing and gesture uh, would really help to build my speed. And so I, I I wanted to find some way to, you know, hurry up and you know just just build my speed and at the same time produce quality. So gesture drawing was the answer for me. And so I remember in the past, uh, people would tell me, people were telling me to draw how you feel. I didn't quite understand what they meant by draw what you feel, but I was just drawing fast while I was uh, you know watching the model. So. I feel, I feel now what they meant by draw how you feel is that, you know, when you see, uh, when you see the human figure, your brain automatically registers, registers like a, a kind of motion that takes place. And we as humans, we tend to overthink what the brain is already registering. So in a sense that, um, we have to, you know, just trust, have trust in our body, just trust our mind that everything is going to work out the way it will work out, work out. And so also not only drawing how you feel, but to also draw the the motion of whatever figure that's being presented to you. And so there's a difference between drawing the motion and drawing the contour. And so again, the motion is something that the brain registers like automatically. And the contour is the nitty gritty detail or should I say the exact line work that you see. And so when we're drawing fast, uh, you're not, chances are you're not gonna get the exact line work that you see within that human body. So say if you're drawing an arm and the arm is bending, you're not going to draw the exact line work if you're like drawing that fast. However, if you're like looking at the motion of how that arm is bending, you know, your brain automatically registers that so that you just have to quickly just draw that motion. Where is it going, you know? And so something I didn't understand prior in my schools is what exactly was an action line? I, so I remember taking a figure drawing class and they did mention something regarding an action line, but I didn't really quite understand what they meant by that. And so, you know, as I started revisiting this, I started to understand what they meant by action line and also how much to draw in, in certain times. So I personally like to do uh, 33 second gesture drawings and within these 33 second gesture drawings I just uh, I just draw the head and then I, I, I indicate what the action line is and then after that I uh, I start to just uh, I draw a little bit of the legs and then I, I make stick figure for the arms you know so yeah I, I, I just juice up the legs a little bit and make stick figures for the arms so it's like almost a stick figure but not all the way a stick figure However, when I'm doing a good uh, a minute, uh, one minute or two minute gesture drawings, I start to, you know, complete the entire uh, drawing in a sense. It's not, ex it won't look exactly like a stick figure, but it does capture the motion of what it's conveying. And another thing I'd like to mention about figure drawing or gesture drawing is that you want to maintain one stroke. Don't leave your lines so messy. So if you're if you see a motion, you just capture that motion in one stroke. So if you see an arm going a specific direction, just capture it all in one stroke. Capture that body, capture like some part of the body in one stroke, etc. Just do it all in one stroke, as opposed to you know having more than one stroke because it'll the figure will not only seem dirty, but it, when you see yourself constructing it in more than one stroke or your lines start to look messy then that means that you're you're overthinking it you know so because the brain is registering it like automatically so you just have to trust yourself you know so i i feel that if you're doing gesture drawing it's like a a practice of trusting yourself that you will make the right decision and sometimes when i'm doing gesture drawings i do have messy lines at times you know However, it's it's part of that it's part of that practice of trusting yourself that you'll make the right decision, you know. So whenever you feel that you're making more than one stroke to capture emotion, um, emotion, just be sure to just you know relax 
look at the figure and just draw it like automatically like your brain has it covered just trust your heart that it will make the right motion and gesture drawing is like you're going ultra instinct but for art and so uh i will have a, a, a link in the in the description or in the comment section down below of some a cool gesture drawing tutorial that you could watch or rewatch if you decide that you want to practice your gesture drawing and also there's also another link of another site that i use called quick Pose that you can look at look into that will be the video thank you guys for watching uh feel free to press that subscribe button and peace out